David with Ligori Drag Racing. And in today's video, we're gonna go over idle by timing. So let's go find it. Other functions, idle speed control, idle by timing limits. Idle by timing, you set a minimum timing position, maximum timing position, and your target idle RPM. And what the idle by timing will do is at 140 degrees, if it's not idling at 1500 RPMs, then it will adjust the timing plus or minus in between your minimum and maximum timing limits to try to get to 1500. You have a post start RPM. On the top row is seconds. And this is plus RPM here. So at zero seconds at startup, it will plus 200 RPMs. So at 140 degrees, if you start the engine and it's 1500, it will add 200 to that at startup and then slowly take it back out after over 10 seconds. It will take that RPM out. And you can adjust this if you need more RPM or less RPM at startup. Target idle is done by temperature at the top and simply just RPM and what you want it to idle at. I always recommend to enable timing return ramp for idle by timing. When this option is enabled, the idle speed control will use a timing return ramp to smoothen the timing return to the main timing table. When disabled, timing instantly goes back to main timing table. So I always recommend to enable that. Now, I'm gonna show you a log and you can see the log here is trying to adjust the timing in order to see that uh, specific RPM um, that you have it set at. Now, idle speed control, idle by timing limits, does not mean that your engine will idle at your target idle RPM. Let me say that again. Idle by timing does not mean that your engine will idle at target idle RPM. Now I'm gonna show you why. In this log, I'm going to extract the map from the log. So I'm gonna open map from log, press the red FT. I'm gonna open the map over that. And we can see here that the engine is idling around 2,000 RPMs, okay? There is a 1,500 RPM. It's at 102 degrees, so it's gonna be at about 104. It's gonna try to idle around 1,620, but it's not idling at 1,620. It's idling almost 2,000. And the reason for that is because the minimum is, is 15 degrees of timing. So we come over to idle speed control, idle by timing, minimum is 15. If the minimum was lower, say 5 degrees or 10 degrees, then this engine RPM would be lower. But because it is at the minimum position, it is not dropping the engine RPM any lower. So when I say that it does not uh, go to target idle RPM, the reason that it doesn't go to target idle RPM is because of the limits that you have. As long as you have the limits opened up, 
to idle at that specific RPM, it will try to do that. But it will not if the limit does not achieve what the RPM is doing. One way that you could do uh, this is to physically back out the idle screw a little bit. And that will lower the engine RPM and it will adjust off of engine timing. So for example, if you turn the idle screw out too much and it doesn't want to idle at 1600 RPMs or 1500 RPMs, it will start to add timing up to that 25% maximum limit or 25 uh, degree maximum limit. So if you turn idle by timing off and it wants to idle at 1300 RPMs, it will add timing up to 25 degrees and try to get to 1500 RPMs if it's set at 1500 RPMs. And same thing for a car, if it, you want it to idle at seven, 800 RPMs or a thousand RPMs, it's the same concept. I ho hope this video helps a little bit in idle by timing and you can really smooth out a timing or you can achieve a, a specific RPM with the timing as long as you have the limits opened up to where you need it to. Thanks.